Hey, what's up traders? This is Mike with the watch this video for Friday, April 14th. Here's the daily candle on the SPY. We are still heading up. Um, pretty impressive strength. I think the Dow was up like 380 points today. So a strong move. Um, let's see, my favorite call in chat today was by me. That never happens. Um, I took a screenshot of it, posted in the chat room right there. IDAI resilient, it topped at 391. Yesterday's high was 410. And you have to take this part out of it in your brain because it, it looked like this was the intraday. When I was talking about this flag here. The implication is a break of 391, you've got catalysts above 410, well, the whole number four, 410, and then the 200 days at 466. I labeled all those. Um, so that's what I call stacked catalysts, right? Um, it breaks the high of day and within a, like a minute or two halted, came out of the halt and just kept going um, and actually went higher than this picture shows that it went to like five something. We'll look at where it really went. By the end of the day, it had gone to 660. Um, so that was a really cool call. Um, a really nice trade, I think, for a lot of us. And there were several pullback plays. My God, if I showed you, um, not MRAI, well, CXAI, the most embarrassing trade. And you know, the <laughs> thing I love about trading, I don't care, and I had a really, really good day today. Um, even with that, I ended the day feeling like a complete schmuck. Um, I ended up scalping something, full position, uh, instead of scaling and, and holding some. I swear to you, I could show you the order, but I'm not going to. I caught, after this breakout, I bid on a pullback, which I often do. Um, and I, I got filled at the bottom right there, 342. And I think I scalped it for 20 cents. Um, for no reason, right? All I had to do was go to a break even stop and you see what it did, right? Went up to over nine. Um, and even scalping some is fine, but I should have held some. It's a great lesson for everyone using my stupidity um, for why you always hear Wayne say, work on your hold some habits. I have no reason in the world that I could give you why I scalped that. But anyway, I'm not here to whine. Um, Today was an interesting day. All you had to do was find any symbol that had AI next to each other. And that was enough for traders to think, okay, it's in the AI space. And uh, they were really strong, as you'll see in the watch list video here. What are we watching for tomorrow? Let's start with this CXAI. Let me get that out of the way. Um, massive move today. Certainly stupid extended. And, um, you know, we're going to keep an eye on it, you know, for the next week or so, because we might get another uh, really nice trade out of it. GFAI is kind of the one that started it all. Um, and now it's, you know, it, it had a huge move in pre-market and then had a nasty reversal. I'd like to see another red day, honestly. And then next week I'd be really interested, but sometimes, um, you know, uh, we might get one of the setups we look for, right? We might get a gap down tomorrow. We could maybe play a gap down bounce play setup um, or a narrow range and then a break to the upside. But it's still really extended to me. So it's just one of those that is definitely going to be on watch for the next several days. IDAI, I already talked about it. I had a great after hours trade in this yesterday. Um, I got to show you this too. This isn't the purpose of these videos, but I got to show this to you because I talked about, I, I got the bottom in that uh, CXAI today on the bottom of that one pullback to the penny. Did I do this right? If you saw my after hours post yesterday, um, this is when it closed. And then after hours, I bought it at 334. And I, and I didn't realize it at the time or when I made the video or anything. I didn't realize it until I looked at it today. I caught the exact bottom of that too. That is not me saying I'm really good at nailing the bottom on these. Um, it was just complete luck on both of them. But how often does that happen? So that was kind of cool. And this one, I didn't sell any till back over four. And then I sold some, I think in the 460s, four, I don't know. So nailed that trade in after hours yesterday, but that is not the point of these videos. I, I apologize, I digress. Um, but anyway, uh, so IDAI, um, it's had a big two day run. So again, I'd like to see that one come in, but it goes on watch. NOTE after this big pop is still just trodden along sideways. I think today I saw or heard Benzinga say something um, about uh, AI in this one too. I didn't even realize, I guess this is maybe in the AI space too. Um, so it is kind of poised with the big pop and sideways move for a possible rip higher. So that one goes on watch. BFLY, 
had the gap up, then the what I would call a bearish engulfing candle yesterday, and then today, right back up near recent highs. So that one's going to go on long watch. INPX is a penny stock, um, but had big volume today and a strong close. Actually, in after hours, it went up to like almost a buck, I think. Um, I don't generally like trading anything under a buck, and I probably won't trade this tomorrow either, but I'm going to watch it. OCEA was on the morning gap playlist today when it looked like this. It started to curl up. Uh, I think it was probably $5.30. I typed in the chat room, OCEA getting near the high of day, which some of you thought, hey, I'm going to take an ORB there if it breaks 540. It's not my, I didn't call it that way. I just said it was getting near the high of day, but that's a good thing about the chat room. Some, some posts can help people even if it's not an official call. And by the way, I didn't get it. Um, I didn't take it, but it absolutely ripped. Um, definitely goes on watch tomorrow. MRAI. Um, the interesting thing about this is it's got AI in it. Um, it's also in the AI space, but um, this is day one. Like this wasn't discovered by the AI crowd, right? Until today. And, you know, maybe through two tomorrow becomes relevant. So definitely keep an eye on this one. It kind of reminds me of IDAI yesterday. Um, so this one could have a nice follow through day tomorrow. Uh, and then AMST, I also believe, is in the AI space. So if all the AIs crap tomorrow, um, hopefully we'll find some gappers that aren't in this space so we can find other stuff to trade. Um, but this one's still interesting to me too. That's it. I'm going to leave it at that. We'll see everybody in the chat room in the morning. Have a good night.